What's up, Yesterland fans? I'm Neil, and on today's special episode of The Toys That Made Sense, I got a special mail delivery today. That's right. It came from Valiver's headquarters, and I got in hand Action Force Desert Rat, a.k.a. Tony Roberts, in-house, in hand. That's right, guys. So we're going to be digging into this right now. And I hope you enjoy this video because I've been looking forward to doing this for a very long time. I am so stoked. So we've got Tony Roberts, a.k.a. Desert Rat, in hand, and I'm going to be tearing into it right now. So sit back, grab your favorite beverage and snack, and I'll see you on the other side. All right, guys, here we are. I've got Action Force, Desert Rat, a.k.a. Tony Roberts, Valiver's action figure in hand. As I said just a minute ago, I am totally, totally stoked to do this review. I've been waiting for this figure. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this figure for so long, and they're being shipped now. Now, there's some other review videos out there on this already. Those are great videos, but I just knew I had to get involved, do my part, and do my, uh, my bit on this. So, excuse me. Without further ado, let's get into this. Beautiful, classic, retro card style Action Force box. Originally how uh, Action Force would have came on a card with this red and uh, yellow outline. We get the blue as well and uh, whatnot on the box. So excellent uh, box choice and design that Bobby came up with. Totally happy, totally stoked about it. Uh, down here in the bottom right-hand corner, we get the green Valiverse logo. We get the age range, 14 plus. Obviously, we get the Action Force uh, name, and we get our character, Desert Rat. Moving him in kind of close here, you can kind of see we got uh, Tony inside the box there. And obviously, we can see all these different hands for different posing and weaponry. We get his uh, guns. Looks like we got a possible SIG up there. I can't tell. And it looks like his AR-15 with his um, flak vest and a couple mags and a uh, knife on the front. So, oh, and his holster and another holster here to the side. And it looks like we got a backpack down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Flipping it to the side, we get the Action Force uh, name. We get a symbol here of Action Force. On the back, we get this beautiful uh, card back with Rollout, Trigger, Sergeant Slaughter, Duster, Collect Action Force Series 2, each sold separately, scan for additional Action Force products, and then we get a uh, Scarab, and we get uh, the Garrison Calvary action figure, and then we get this beautiful cutout card like the old classic G.I. Joe here on the back, and it says Desert Rat, file name, Roberts Tony. Primary specialty, special forces, secondary skill, medic, singular, uh, parachutist, regimental historian, birthplace. Sh and I'm sorry, Tony, if I butcher this, uh, Shoreham, uh, by the sea, England, rank slash affiliation, staff sergeant, action force. And then we get this little passage and history on Tony. It says, as a young adult, Roberts often found himself on the wrong side of the law. After witnessing the murder of his close friend, he knew he had to turn his life around before he ended up in prison or dead. He chose to walk away from life of, pretty, of uh, petty crime and enlisted in the British Army as an infantryman, eventually landing in the Special Forces section course, uh, course one year later. Once Baghdad in British Special Air Forces, SAS. Robert saw service all over the world, becoming an expert in desert warfare and soon adopted the code name Desert Rat. After serving multiple uh, tours of duty, Roberts now, a staff sergeant, was assigned as a senior enlisted soldier in Condor's former unit. Uh, let's see, what does that say? Uh, while serving with Condor, the captain out track, yeah, out track. What is that? I can't read it. I'm sorry. I'm looking over the camera. Outtranked him, but due to Desert Rat's age and combat experience, he quickly became a uh, Desert Rat, retired becoming a private security contractor. After becoming uh, disillusioned with the industry, Roberts 
hung up his body armor and started combating his ever worsening PSD by drowning himself in alcohol. It wasn't until an old friend came out that Roberts found his new purpose, the purpose of Action Force. We get action points here. Number two or two worth cut and save action points for promotions. We get follow Valiverse on their social media, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and then we get Valiverse.com. Now, before I go any further, this passage on Tony, if anybody has been following Tony on his Analog Toys channel or on 3POA, he has been uh, promoting lately about his... Um, uh, PTSD that he suffers from while serving in the special forces over in Iraq. Uh, Tony's been through a lot and I can't imagine what he's gone through and all of our servicemen and his partners and his uh, teammates and whatnot, what they've been through. So Tony, I salute you. Thank you for your service to your country. Thank you for your service to the world and keeping us uh, safe. Uh, and making it a, a, a safe and better place to live. So that's a little passage on Tony, and I'm pretty sure the majority of that information in there is uh, pretty damn accurate. So of what's gone on in his life. Flipping it to the side, we get Desert Rat 02-07 on the side, and we get the Valiver symbol. And then we're back to the front. We have Action Force on top and the warning label all the legal mumble jumble on the bottom with the barcode. So don't want to bore you anymore, but let's dive into this and let's get into this figure and check them out. All right, guys, we got Tony out of the box. And uh, let me tell you right off the bat on the box, inner part, the plastic uh, carrier, there's a special little plastic um kind of almost staticky, maybe a light little uh, glue substance. Uh, activated material that goes over the front to preserve any potential further um, possible damage to the figure and whatnot. And it keeps your, keeps your um, inside of your uh, bubble here, the window, uh, nice and clean without any scratches. So I strongly recommend saving it, attaching it to the outer uh, front of it while you put it back inside the box. But let's get into the, the good here, the goods. So I'm going to start with the accessories, and then we'll move into the action figure. We get a backpack of Tony's. I would assume this is probably very similar to a uh, rucksack that Tony would have carried uh, while he was uh, in service and in country. Uh, pretty similar to it. There's, um, there's great detail to it, but there's nothing really like popping out showing that, hey, this, this has um, extra, like, you know, areas of uh, attaching weapons or anything like that. But you could add, you know, stickers or, you know, that look like patches and whatnot to it if you needed to. But if you're going to probably keep this as close as to Tony's uh, setup, how he was every day when he was serving, um, I don't know, you would have to kind of maybe reach out to him. But anyways, we get his backpack. We get a total of uh, six extra hands. We get uh, two sets of hands open like so. We get two closed uh, fists for action punching type uh, poses. And then we get another set of uh, gun hands, most likely probably for pistol or the AR. I just haven't uh, tried these on yet, but uh, we'll get into that here in a minute. We get a sidearm, which looks like it's possibly a SIG, might be an H. H and K, I don't know, Tony. Maybe comment in the, in the comment section. Let me know what you carried, your sidearm. We get your AR-15. We get the um, silver mag here. Uh, does it come out? Yep, it comes out. We get the little bullet on top. It looks like, yep. It's a uh, Coyote Tan uh, barrel setup. And it's your classic uh, AR-15 or um, 5.56 caliber we get the nice little on the on the chamber here we you can see it's silver so we see the bolt there and that's pretty much it it does not telescope or anything like that so it's pretty much standard fixed that's how he's going to carry it moving on we get the awesome uh traditional action force stand if you need that to place your character on it's got four pegs here for you i know it's kind of hard to see but maybe you can kind of see them there you get four pegs and then moving on to the good stuff here we go we got tony starting from the feet going up we got tony in his boots 
his uh, tactical, probably all-terrain uh, desert coyote tan boots that he wore. We see him in his khaki um, coyote tan pants, maybe 5'11s. Um, and uh, moving up on his uh, left thigh, looks like we get a little bit, maybe this is his medic bag or a basic, uh, you know, general pack for small uh, supplies or whatnot. Moving up to his wrists, and this is what really seals the deal. We know Tony's got tattoos, and it's kind of hard to see, but we get some great artwork there on Tony's forearm, along with his um, bracelet there, his perico, paracord um, bracelet, and we get his watch, it looks like, on the other side. And moving up, we get his belt, his holster for his pistol, and on the side, we get a couple extra uh, mags, and I believe those mags come out. So pulling them out, I believe they do. Do they? Maybe not. Maybe they're they're fixed in there. It looks like they might be fixed, and that's okay. On the back on his belt, we get his Leatherman. We get a flashlight. On the back side of him, on his carrier, we get his radio. That comes over the top. Now, my antenna was attached. I know in Sal's two, uh, two Cents Toys review, he showed his popping in and out. And I can't remember if Sal said his was not attached. So I, I don't know. And I stand corrected, Sal, if it was. And then you just pulled it out and um, put, it, uh, put it back in to show how it can come out. Uh, moving around to the front, we get his... Uh, his scarf, and it looks like it's accessible to come off by popping off the head, and you can pull the scarf off. Um, moving up to his uh, chest plate, or his um, plate here, his armored plate, you see his radio up here at the top. We get a couple extra silver mags. Now, I do know uh, these do come out. Uh, they do come out, but I'm not going to go ahead and pull them out. And then you get Tony's knife, and that comes out, double-edged, um, kind of like dagger-style knife. And then moving up to the top, we get this great face sculpt of Tony. And this is pretty accurate, man. This is a very good face sculpt, Tony. That's awesome. Looks just like you, sir. Maybe a little more hair than what you got now, but great, great, great uh, picture of you or design of you. So very happy with it, sir. They, uh, Tony did you just, or correction, Bobby did you justice, so... Excellent figure. Now, one thing I noticed right out of the box, this round, uh, they're a little bit more bend bendable. Um, didn't have to really apply any heat or put them in any water. We got total articulation in the ankles, front to back. Doesn't really rotate side to side, but the knees bend. Right? We got articulation in the arms. I noticed his arms were pretty loose. His left is a little bit looser. Uh, total 360. Articulation at the elbow, swivel right to left, left to right, same thing, right arm's a little bit more stiff, left to right, up and down, swivel on the, on the wrist, head moves back and forth, up and down, not side to side, and rocks at the abdomen in a 360 motion, front, back, uh, he could bend down, and... He basically bends to about right there. So other than that, this figure's in awesome shape. And I can't wait to get him down or get him up on the shelf with the rest of the uh, the boys. And uh, let's, see, let's see what he looks like. So again, uh, here we got it. We got Desert Rat, a.k.a. Tony Roberts from Action Force. And also Analog Toys. And also a host on the 3PO podcast. So this has got to be totally awesome. Uh, see your um, figure of yourself come to life, Tony. So I'm very happy for you and congratulations on achieving this, I'm sure, a milestone in your life that you probably never thought in a million years that you would end up being an action figure, an action figure someday. So congratulations, sir, and um, thank you for your service. All right, guys. So here's my action force. I've got Mr. Desert Rat up there up front. He's leading the pack here, as you can see. I'm so stoked to have him in my collection. Thank you, uh, Bobby from Valiverse. Thank you so much, man, for putting this line out. I've really fallen in love with this line. I can't wait to see what you do for this line and how you continue to, to grow with the company. Tony, again, 
Thank you for all that you do for the community. Thank you what you do for uh, all the fans. And, um, you know, this is, this is awesome, man. I finally got you and I got to put you in my collection. So um, that's it, folks. I hope you like this video. Please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Remember to hit that notification button. And if you want to see more videos, you know where to go to. They're right here. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.